Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. Paul Pluff of Smith & Wesson has joined host Wade Middleton out on the property and is excited to show the crew how hunting with a handgun that was designed for hunting is opening up new opportunities and changing the face of hunting. You know, handgun hunting is something that has become more and more popular. Uh, a lot of people have fallen in love with the passion of hunting with handguns, getting them in close. But the thing about it is, some of these handguns can, you know, are as accurate as your rifle out there to some incredible distances. You know, the Smith & Wesson Performance Center handguns can be dialed in if you, the shooter, can, can handle it to, to take shots out there in that 200 yard range. And we have had the opportunity over the past few years to really learn more about hunting with handguns and have actually set some of our stands up now to, to really emphasize hunting with a handgun. Now last week on the show, we watched Paul Pluff get a lot of heart-pumping buck activity out at the infamous killing tree. Coming up there. Straight up there coming in. Looks like a uh, mature being pointed. He's got it. See him out there? We had some, a lot of deer come in here. We had some real nice younger eight-point bucks. And we had two older bucks that came in that were just needed to be shot. We uh, just, just as I got on him, let's get ready to shoot. We heard some clacking in the background. We were two, two avid pucks were going at it and this thing just turned and spun on a dime and just ran back in there to see what's going on and I missed that opportunity. But it was pretty exciting, I gotta tell you. I was just getting ready to pull on him too. Actually, there's another one that's even better than him. See him coming out of the, the, the scrub, second from the left. Tall, tall horns, older deer. He's walking away from us. That's the one if he turns. We had the second one come in. Nice, nice, tall, dark horns, good mass. Great one. He was another shooter. Boy, I was just, boy, I really liked him a lot. If he comes back in, that's the one got on him, but he just stayed behind this bush, the scrum bush back over here. Was not coming to give me an opportunity. Just as he started to come out, I thought I had my shot getting ready to take, and there he turned, and he just turned into the woods and just chased a bunch of does and just went running off. I missed that opportunity too. This was a great stand. A hunt like this, Boy, it keeps your adrenaline running nice and high. I mean, a lot of good deer coming in, a lot of opportunity coming up. Uh, so it's, it's, it really is an exciting hunt. But it does get a little frustrating when these big boys, you know, they're smart. They don't get big by being stupid. They just don't give you an opportunity to take that shot. That part's frustrating. But you know what? I'd sit in here all morning long again just to see what I've seen today because it was a great hunt. When the Whitetail Diaries returns, Paul Shooter gives them a second chance. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you in part by Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides, real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Garmin, the power of simple. And by Smith & Wesson, made in the USA since 1852. The 
Yamaha Viking and introducing the all new Viking 6. The hardest working, most off-road capable side-by-sides in America. Built for the hardest working people on earth, you. Julie Golosky, Smith & Wesson Consumer Program Manager and World Champion Shooter. Joe Zanetti, Smith & Wesson Finishing Specialist and Lifelong Hunter. Jim Dalton, Smith & Wesson Master Gunsmith. I shoot competitively and so does my son. Our people, our products, our passion. Smith & Wesson. What if there was a camera that went where you went and shot what you shot? An action camera so easy to use you can concentrate on your hunt, not the hunt for the record button. A camera that let you add dimensions to your video, like speed, altitude, or even your heart rate, just before you let it fly. Life. Camera. Action. The Verb Elite HD Action Camera from Garmin. The Bubba Blade is the ultimate sportsman's knife and carving machine. The Bubba Blade 9 inch stiffy is fast becoming the preferred knife of the sportsman for carving up barbecue, big game, or anything else that needs cutting up. One cut and you're through. The safety guards help prevent your hand from slipping into the blade. The blade is made from high carbon stainless steel for maximum sharpness, edge retention, and is razor sharp. The knife is Teflon coated so the meat won't stick to the blade. The Bubba Blade is built like a tank and is made to hold up under the harshest of conditions. We start with full tang construction to give the knife balance and extra strength. The handle is extra large and is made from solid thermoplastic polymer, then wrapped in a special synthetic rubber that gets sticky when wet so your hands don't slip off the handle. So check out our website at www.bubbablade.com and order your Bubba Blade today. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Smith & Wesson's Paul Pluff is out at the legendary killing tree with his Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum handgun that's been designed for hunting and he's hoping that his shooter from the previous morning will give him a second chance. But before we head out in the field, let's take a closer look at what's new in the Smith & Wesson hunting handgun line. Whitetail Diaries presents Fully Loaded, getting you geared up from head to toe for every hunt. Hi, I'm Paul Pluff from Smith & Wesson. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about hunting handguns. It's one of my favorite things to do in life. But specifically I want to talk about some of our uh, performance center hunting handguns here, our family of 44 Magnum hunting handguns. Great guns. Uh, let's start with this one here, a 629 Stealth Hunter. You can see it has that full lug barrel, a little bit heavier, great balance to this gun. But it also has a special coating on here that helps uh, deter or absorb the reflection of light. Uh, there again, it's got that seven and a half inch barrel on it. It has a built-in rail system that allows you to readily mount optics on here. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you pick it up here, you'll notice that it actually has built-in compensators on it. That really helps reduce the recoil with that little extra weight of the barrel. It has a very crisp single action as well as a very smooth double action. And one of the things you'll notice here is we actually have a built-in trigger stop. That eliminates the over-travel of the trigger, uh, allows you to get on your second shot quicker if you need to take that. The good news about these guns is they're so accurate, if you take your time, you won't need to take a second shot. Uh, this one here is our 44 uh, Pro Hunter. Uh, this one's very, very popular. This one's been out for a few years. There again, it's chambered in 44 Magnum. But you'll see it has a longer, sleeker barrel, seven and a half inch, okay, stainless steel. You'll also notice with this one here, uh, we actually sell it with a, it actually comes with a rail. Everything is uh, pre-drilled and tapped. And it also comes with this nice little compensator on the top. And this one here is probably one of our most recent uh, introductions. Uh, this is the 44 Magnum Hunter. 
Uh, this one's become very popular very quick. It has built-in a Picatinny steel eye rails. We do that so you, it, it's, it's pretty universal as far as the optic mount on. One of the neat, neat features about this there, again, you got a six and a half inch barrel, but you got the add comp full compensator on here, and this is a 360 degree compensator. This really tames the recoil on this gun. Hey, and this is the line of our, our 44 Magnum hunting guns out of our performance center. If you haven't tried it, you gotta do it today. Try it, you'll like it. Now, for any of the products you've seen used on today's show, visit smith-wesson.com. Back to the hunt. As it got to be a little, by around 4, 4.30, the does started coming. A lot of does came in. Then you started having some bucks come in. And we have not only in front of us in the pond, but they were off, I mean, they were out on, uh, on the right-hand side of us, too. And they were just all moving through the area, just a ton of them. But then an older eight-point came in. I mean, a nice old eight point. He had to be six years old or better. You know, big body deer. This was a nice mature deer. Uh, and for me, that's a thrill to hunt. Uh, to hunt and shoot a nice mature deer. And that's what it's all about. Uh, so he came down, he came along the water edge, and he you know, was pushing some of the younger ones around for a while, but he, then he came out on the water edge. Uh, and he was down there, and you know, he was gonna take a drink of water, and he turned broadside. And he just gave me that perfect look. All things considered, with all the activity that happened that day, um, by far and away, even especially now, you know, that I was able to pull the trigger on that buck and got myself a nice eight-point buck, it was probably uh, one, of, probably one of the best days of hunting that I've ever had in my life. Well, I got to tell you, we were up in that blind, and we've been seeing them all day long. Just none of them give me an opportunity to take that shot. This one came out, a nice older eight-point. Uh, and you know what, he just postured himself perfect. He was quartering toward me a little bit, but he gave me the perfect shot. Uh, and I gotta tell you, the little handgun, it, it did its job. It just took him down. He didn't go maybe 20 yards from where I shot him, and he just piled up here. Uh, boy, it doesn't get any better than this and doesn't get any more exciting than this. If you haven't tried it, you gotta try a little handgun hunting. It'll make your day. Congratulations, Paul. Well, that was another successful entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. And we're always proud when a good mature buck is harvested from our crew's hard work and dedication to the land management. More hunting handgun fun when the Whitetail Diaries returns. If you'd like to keep up with the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries crew, see some of the behind the scenes action, as well as be eligible to win some of the prizes, such as the gear we use in the field, it's simple. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like, and one lucky person each year will join us in the field for a great hunt. When you change the game, you make the rules. Introducing the all new Stealth SS from 10 Point, the most compact crossbow we've ever created. 10 Point, there is no substitute. After your next successful deer hunt, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for venison with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the hunt at bradleysmoker.com. Experience High Viz, a brighter sight, better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. High Viz lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose High Viz.
For camping, fishing, hunting, or anything outdoors, bring along Arctic Ice. Simply freeze these versatile cooler packs and they're ready to keep your food and drinks cold throughout your outing. Arctic Ice can maintain in a cooler 60% longer than the equal weight of regular ice and with no more mess or soggy food. Arctic Ice is clean and easy. Alaskan series can maintain a sub 40 degree cooler for days and the Tundra series can keep game frozen till it gets home. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Choose Arctic Ice. When it comes to racing big deer, Purina is the leader in deer nutrition research. Our Antler Max research and development team is committed to developing products that provide results in your deer management program with a difference you can see. If you're ready to take your deer operation to the next level, look no further than Purina's new and improved Antler Max premium deer feeds. You can find them at your local Purina retailer. Purina Antler Max premium deer feed, a difference you can see. Since 1976, Delta Ag has been an industry leader in plant health and nutrition. With our innovative concept in chemistry, Delta Ag produces healthier crops and improves yields. We formulate biostimulants and micronutrients designed to improve fertilizer efficiency and increase crop response to nutrients. Make your fertilizer go further with reliable products that work. Grow healthier crops from the ground up with versatile low-rate products. Delta Ag, improving plant performance. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, brought to you in part by Stealth Cam Scouting Cameras. It's all about the hunt. High Viz Shooting Systems. See what you've been missing. Frog Togs. Stop the rain. Arctic Ice. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Engel Coolers. A legend in reliability. We've seen how handguns that are specifically made for hunting are revolutionizing the industry. We met up with Matt Rice, who's been hunting with handguns for some time and knows all about the advantages and challenges of working with a hunting handgun. You know, some of the advantages in my mind of hunting with a handgun, uh, one is being able to be mobile in the field. You also have a lot less weight when you're making those longer stocks. And, and it's also a challenge, it's a mental challenge much like archery or black powder, it gives you that kind of more of a, an adrenaline rush, especially for maybe the hunter who's killed a lot of whitetail or killed a lot of animals, is kind of looking for that next challenge. Well, Matt has traversed this ranch for three mornings and one afternoon set and has not found the right buck just yet. Day two and a half, made a couple spots, had some good activity on a couple different stands. Still haven't quite seen the buck we're looking for, looking for that three to four year old eight point or something bigger. Uh, just making sure we uh, treat the management property well. Uh, sat out over uh, stand this morning, had some good activity. Uh, had a nice buck came in, but just didn't give us a shot. Sometimes when you're hunting with a handgun, you've got some difficulties with the lay of the land. Uh, the good thing about a handgun is you can really stay mobile. We were sitting on the ground today, uh, but we just didn't have the best spot for the way he came in. Hopefully we'll have some better luck. Now, Matt's set up in a box blind for the afternoon and is hoping his patience and perseverance will pay off. So after we sat there for a while, lo and behold, the nice buck comes out. We can tell right away that he is interested in the does. He's got his head to the ground, and as soon as he gets to the food plot, he starts the chase. So as we're watching him, trying to gauge the size, we begin our discussions and it occurs to us that this might be the exact same buck that we had passed on the day before because he didn't allow us that opportunity. So now we had a second chance at redemption. So as we were watching this buck move back and forth across the field, another buck entered the area. This one was definitely a lot younger. Once our shooter buck or the buck that we had targeted had pinpointed him, uh, it, what any two males started doing. They, the bigger ones started chasing the littler one. They'd run around, they'd break, they'd both find a doe that they thought they'd go after or was receptive. 
they'd chase that doe, they'd come back into the field, they'd chase the doe, they'd come back in the field, and they just weren't slowing down. So that little buck, while it was nice to know that there were some other males in the field, he really wasn't doing us any good there at all. And I was hoping he'd leave. So I thought, man, that's it. They're gonna be chasing the stove. They're not gonna come back in. And we might have just lost our second opportunity uh, to shoot this deer. And then lo and behold, after about 45 minutes, maybe almost an hour, our buck comes back into the field. Is that him or is that a different one? It's gotta be him. You can't just look at your Yeah, that's Once he entered the field, he wasn't as anxious in spending the last of his energy running around and not presenting us with a shot. Performance Center, 44 Magnum, Light Hunter, 240 grain American Eagle, Federal Bullet. Uh, did the trick. So, very good. One happy hunter. I was anxious to get out and look at it. Uh, I wanted to see what I was able to harvest, uh, what kind of buck we had in front of us on the ground. Uh, and once again, I was very impressed with the firearm. Well, I was really ecstatic uh, to be able to take another nice buck with a hand. All right. Very good. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, perfect. Congratulations, Matt. Well, that was another successful entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Oh, but we're not done yet. When we return, Paul Pluff shares his love of hunting handguns with some American heroes and gets a chance at one more buck. When I'm not hunting, I'm thinking about hunting. It's on my mind because it's in my blood. When the hunt calls, my TC Venture points the way. Accurate, reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture hunter, the hunt never ends. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. Faster. Smarter. More powerful. The new ZX7 processor from Stealth Can. The game has changed. After all my years of searching, I finally busted the myth of the Yeti! The Angel High Performance Cooler, it's incredible! Just look at this lid, what a powerhouse! It's so freaking strong, so reliable, I just wanna boom! The silicone gasket's better than rubber! Why, hello there. Are your basin sidewalls way thicker for superior insulation? Oh yes, after 10 days, still cold, still fresh, let's hear Yeti do that! With Angel Coolers, it's official! The Yeti is busted! change the game, you make the rules. Introducing the all-new Vapor from 10 Point, the most technologically advanced crossbow ever created. 10 Point, there is no substitute. After your next successful hog hunt, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes dedicated to pork with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the hunt at bradleysmoker.com. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. 
We've joined Paul Pluff out at the 3P Ranch where he's on a hunt with some true American heroes. Well, it's kind of interesting. Uh, every year, you know, Smith & Wesson is involved with uh, Matt Light, and Matt Light's an ex-New England Patriot player. Uh, he has this thing called the Light Foundation. It's a great program. Smith & Wesson's been a part of that for the last five or six years. Uh, so this hunt came up, and, uh, and it was worthwhile. And when I found out that uh, it also included hunting with some more wounded warriors, I jumped all over that. I bid on it, uh, I won it, and it was uh, uh, been the highlight of my year coming out here and doing this. After a morning in the box blind with no luck, Paul decided to take the opportunity to show the wounded warriors some of the hunting handguns he brought with him. I turned around to these guys and said, listen, you know, we got these Smith & Wesson 460s here. I brought a Thompson Center uh, in a uh, 30TC. We got some of these hand cannons. I, I brought plenty of ammo. You guys want to do some more shooting today? Uh, maybe get on some of these handguns and these rifles and uh, let's see what everybody can do and uh, have some fun doing that. Uh, and the funny thing is, is I didn't have to wait for an answer. Uh, these guys were all running out to the trucks to get in there to head down to the range before I even finished my sentence. I kind of explained, you know, you know, some of the basics on shooting that 460 and uh, explained to them that we have scopes on these things so we can do some long range stuff with them and start explaining to them, you know, where they're going to hit at 50, where they're going to hit at 100, where they're going to hit at 200, 300, 400. And, uh, True to form, these wounded warriors, they're professionals, and they, uh, they like the challenge, and it's why they do what they do for a living. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm not sure who liked it more, me or them. It was a thrill for me, you know, just verify what I already knew these guns were capable of, but see these guys who have never shot these handguns and being able to do that, and they looked up at me, and uh, they said, you know, now we understand why you like the handgun hunt so much. This is, this is about as thrilling as it gets. They love archery hunting, but now they're out there with these handguns and they're taking shots out 100, 200, 300 yards and they're just dropping them right in there that they know it would have been a dead deer on the ground and they're loving it. After some fun with the wounded warriors, Paul's back out on the box blind for his afternoon hunt. We had a lot of, uh, a lot of whitetail come in, a lot of doe, uh, some very younger, young deers, some of them looking pretty nice. I gotta tell you, this is the place to be in another two or three years because I've seen a lot of young deer that are just gonna be monster bucks out here. You know, we're probably maybe a half hour, 45 minutes uh, from the end of shooting light and uh, in come these two deer. And it was uh, the most amazing thing to see. We're sitting there, at first I didn't notice them and it kind of heard a little clacking kind of caught my attention and I looked over and these two deer were off to the side and they were doing a little sparring. To my good fortune, a big buck come strolling in behind them just to see what was going on over there. Uh, and he came in there and he was kind of turned straight at the blind and turned away from the blind. And probably within three to four minutes after he came in, you know, he turned broadside and gave me that perfect shot. I really have the opportunity to go out and do uh, and travel around, do a lot of these hunts, and do a lot of things. Uh, and I've had a pretty busy year. Um, and uh, this trip, this trip was the highlight of my year. Uh, having the honor to spend camp with these guys, uh, with these wounded warriors uh, who have really given so much for the country and really believe in what they're doing. Shooting a, a big Texas whitetail, it, it, to me, it was just a perfect week, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Yeah, they were fighting pretty good. That's awesome. What a great deer. Well, thank you for a great hunt. It was just it was absolutely wonderful and what a great deer. Well, that was another successful entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Now for any of the products seen on today's show, visit smith-wesson.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Join us next week, won't you, for another exciting entry in the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. If you'd like to keep up with the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries crew, see some of the behind the scenes action as well as be eligible to win some of the prizes such as the gear we use in the field, it's simple. Go to our Facebook page and give us a like and one lucky person each year will join us in the field for a great hunt. Oh, Kevin. Yeah.